Hello, welcome to C Sharp interview question and answer video series. In this video, I will be talking about the generics. Before we move ahead to the generics, let's try to understand what is boxing and unboxing. Talking about the boxing, the process of converting value type to reference type is called boxing, and the opposite of this is called unboxing. As you know, any type in C Sharp derived from system dot object. Let me declare one variable in a equal to hundred, and let me try to assign this to reference type be that object o equal to i'll just assign a to o this is the process of converting value type to reference type so this is called as boxing talking about the unboxing one if at all i have one variable which is the object o1 equal to 100 and i want to convert it to integer some number and I want to cast it to integer like this and O1. So here in this scenario I'm just trying to convert this object type to integer. So this is called as unboxing. So boxing is converting from while type to reference type and unboxing is converting ref type to while type. So talking about the generics Generic is the way by which you can develop your code independent of data types. We can define generic classes, interfaces, abstract class, fields, properties, events, delegates, etc. Any class in generics are available in system.collections.generic namespace. The main advantage of generic is that you can write a code which is independent of data type. At the same time, it will be giving you type safety and better performance. You can define constraints while you declare any classes. .NET Framework provides both non-generic and generic collections. Hash table is non-generic collection. Its corresponding generic collection is dictionary, which gives you key value pair. Array list is non-generic and it gives you generic list type as generic collection. Similarly, stack and queue has its corresponding generic collection. Before we move ahead with the generic collection, we can just try to explain you what are limitation in the array. Suppose I have that one array of integer, which is number numbers let me simply assign some value numbers 0 at 0th position we have got 100 and at the first position we have say 200 if at all I want to include any new number say third one equal to what 10,000 if I build it I will not get any error but if I run it, as in the main collection, we have stated the max limit size is 2, but we are trying to insert third value as well. It should be giving us index out of range exception. So this is the limitation of an integer. So instead of this, I can simply use array list. And in array list, a equal to new array list. Let's add 100 as it is a line. Object type to be added to the collection. Let me add another value as string. So if at all I want to iterate this collection, so for each item in A. So in this scenario, every time while iteration, it will be doing boxing and unboxing, which is kind of overhead to the compiler and performance is impacted. So instead of this, C sharp provides you term recollection. We can use list of string L equal to new list of string. And now, if I want to add L dot add, see it is asking us to provide string value only. If I specify integer value here in the collection, so in the value, it will ask me to provide integer value only. And this is how we achieve type safety dynamically. As we were talking about the constraint in generics, so let me just have one class, say student, and inside this class, I just want to have multiple properties a id and string as name. And I want to have one generic class 
which is my class and I'll just specify this placeholder you can put any name or kill your name my name anyone I just, I just turned out I'm just putting T and I want to specify constraint here where T derives from student class suppose I've got suppose I have got another class TLS and this is my IT and this class is independent one it is not inheriting the student class when I create instance of this class so my class and here I'm specifying IT and I equal to new IT see compiler started throwing the error so error says that so it says that advanced C shop, this is the project name, cannot be used type parameter T in the generic type. So as we have specified here in the custom class, the T, the type should derive from student. If I derive it from student, now you can see our error is gone. So this is the way you can specify constraints when you define your custom generic class. In the next video, I will be talking about difference between hash table and dictionary. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.